the Canadian Card Collector here, and welcome back to day 31 of your daily deck review. And the deck that we're taking a look at today is the Red Monarchs by Theory 11. Hopefully, you can see them on the red background that I have. Red on red might be hard to see, but with no further ado, let's take a look at the Red Monarchs by Theory 11. So we got the Red Monarchs here. This is a glossy red tuck box with a bunch of gold foil here all over the front. And mo and it is embossed and debossed. So you can feel all these, most of the lines and the words here all over the front of the tuck box. And it's a really glossy tuck box. It might be hard to see a little bit in the light. But it says Monarchs. High, qual high quality playing cards made in the United States of America. And you get all this gold line work here on the front of the tuck box. We get to the side of the tuck. It says high quality playing cards produced by Theory 11, made in the United States of America. And we got the Theory 11 logo here. Other side, made in the USA. No, made in the United States of America. Then we've got like a line here. Little house. And then it says, no, we got something that says Neighborhood Studios there at the bottom. On the back, you got the back design. We'll take a closer look at that in when we get to the cards. And this is embossed in more gold foil. On the bottom, you got the Theory 11 logo. You got Theory 11 and a barcode in that same gold foil. Here we've got a white seal with a gold crown and some gold stripes. And it's a word here. On the top, you got two swords that are covered up by the white seal. It is also a stamp style seal. Open the cards, you got some lines here, and it says Circa Trova here on the tuck flap. We take the cards out. There's nothing on the two little flaps, but the inside of the tuck box is just a matte red finish. Now that we took a look at the tuck box, time to look at the cards. And first, we'll look at the back design. Here we got a, a red back design here and it's red and white so we've got a red ba background with the white with details here you got the snakes the sword and the, the leaves of a standard monarch deck yeah and it is in a bright red color with nice thin white borders and this is a mirrored back design so you can flip the cards over in the deck and it looks the same now for the cards you get, you get two identical jokers here. They both say Joker Joker here in the corner in black. Then you got a a guy riding a bicycle and it says the Joker made in the USA underneath. And it, they're both in gold metallic ink. And you get a Theory 11 ad card here. And then you get a double backer. And we get on to the Ace of Spades here. We get a nice standard Ace of Spades here with some gold metallic ink here. And the look, some line work here with a crown in gold metallic ink. And it says trademark monarch playing cards made in the United States of America. And then we get to the rest of the spades. And they're just standard spades. Nothing too fancy going on there. Then we get to the court cards. They're just standard court cards, but slightly changed colorway here. So we got a lot of gold metallic ink with some reds and some blacks mixed in there. Just standard, just changed colors. Then we get to the diamonds. They're slightly like a darker shade of red, but pretty much just standard diamonds here all the way through. Then we get to the court cards, the Jack Queen King of Diamonds. And they're just the standard. Court cards here, just a slight change of the colorway. 
There's a lot of gold metallic ink in it. Same with the court cards for the clubs. Jack, Queen, and King. Standard court cards. Slightly changed colorway. When we get to the club, what's the clubs? are just standard clubs, standard faces. And lastly, the carts. Jack, Queen, and King. Five hearts. Standard faces. Just different colorways. And then the rest of the hearts are that same like dark red you've seen on the diamonds. And they're just standard hearts. Now that we've seen what the cards look like, time for the handling. This deck has has been broken in, so we'll test the springs and see how they hold up. Well, for a broken in deck, the springs are pretty nice. You don't need to put too much pressure on it. So, now for some fans. See how the fans hold up after having this deck. I've been using this deck a bunch. And, well, they handle pretty nice. There's no clumping at all. In the deck. And fan pretty smoothly every time. Now for a pharaoh shovel. And with a pharaoh. Easy pharaohs. Giant fan. Nice giant fan, no clumping. So far, so good. Now for the reverse pharaoh. It, it does reverse pharaoh. Kind of easy, but not as easy as the other way. Giant fan of all the faces. Time for the pharaoh. The Riffle Shuffle, or Bridge Shuffle. It would work if I don't mess it up. That was a better one. One more for good luck. Nope, never mind. me. I just can't do the, the Bridge Shuffle, Riffle Shuffle today. Nope. Attempt one more. Okay, well, we got one good one earlier. Now for some packet cuts. Time for the dribble. So far, the handling, the handle. Pretty good for being for already being opened and used. So yeah, nice. Well, spread the cards now. Well, as always, Theory Eleven has a comes up with some good decks, great handling, great designs. The Monarchs are a staple of Theory 11. The red ones are 
No exception? Well, that has been day 31 of your daily deck review. This has been The Red Monarchs by Theory11. That's the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.